Hello traders, it's Samurai Trader here. Welcome to session 80, how to day trade any market, the $1,000 a day challenge. Now for the young guns in the room here or watching this video, $1,000 a day may not be enough for you. So you simply increase your position size, that is trade more contracts, or as you will see in today's video, I went for an extra $100 per day, so uh, per contract. So traders, I normally target $200 a day per contract. Today I went up to 300, and I want to show you the effects of just that $100 increase. Uh, now what I teach you in these sessions of course you can apply to futures forex or stocks now today I'm going to really drill down with you once again I'll say the setups and the how I day trade and so you're going to walk away with pretty much the exact sort of technical the techniques really there's no sort of what exactly I'm looking for so make sure you stay with me now this may go for 45 minutes I don't know maybe we wrapped up in 30 but I doubt it usually we end up with a, around the 40 minute uh, session as always these sessions are also raw real and unedited first thing I do need to pull up we do know that this is a risk in trading so um, trade on the simulator and don't trade until you're consistently profitable and don't uh, trade with money that you can't afford to lose traders if uh, very quick advertisement if you haven't already downloaded my ebook the truth about uh, day trading please click on the link below <coughs> excuse me um, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel make sure you do so you can be kept up to date with all of my latest videos and what I show you here today uh, you can obtain everything you can obtain the works for $197 yes it's a plug it's an advertisement but that's um, how I make an income besides day trading I train traders so I actually run a live trading room uh, three mornings a week and I also run two coaching sessions that is uh, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Tuesdays and Wednesdays every week I run a coaching room teaching traders step by step how to day trade now for $197 you can get all of my indicators so there's um, uh, no upsell to indicators uh, there's dozens of videos there's um, over 35 powerpoints look there's nothing else like it out there and as one member described my members area it's like a gold mine now I also have a special going and this is the last slide here that uh, I include eight two-hour live and recorded sessions that is you can attend uh, one month of the private group coaching sessions at 16 hours of coaching uh, we also with comprehensive downloadable uh, handouts and if you can't attend those sessions they are recorded now that's included in your investment of 197 now after the first month if you say wow this is fantastic which you will should you decide to continue you can drop me an email I'll send you a link and you can sign up for for $97 a month on my website it's 197 a month and you can cancel it any time so 197 gets you everything I'm about to show you my indicators here today and actually I'm not singling out the indicators but I'll talk about them because you'll see how I use them in a moment so end of that let's get into this you hear me talk about this every session I run why because you show me a a new trader or a potential trader with a compelling future uh, that's got a, a future that really motivates them and I'll show you a trader that will probably reach the top five percent now for most families a thousand dollars a day five thousand a week is a game changer how do you achieve that target one hundred dollars a day yes and I'll show you a little chart here it might take you longer to get there but as you're about to see too one hundred dollars a day with with my setups are a walk in the park for someone that's really put the time in this isn't rocket science it's about learning the patterns now in today's session I went for three hundred dollars a day now I only trade five lots I'm quite comfortable trading five contracts or five lots that suits me but as you'll see it was a fifteen hundred dollar a day or day I should say now that's seven and a half thousand a week I know many people can't live on that but it's not a bad income this is the true potential unfortunately 
there's so much guff out there on the internet about you know go for a thousand dollars a day per con is that achievable by the way yes it is however not for most people now and one of the reasons why traders fail here and I want to get through this quickly but it's important they expect fast results and they don't achieve that then they stop believing in themselves they start dwelling on their mistakes it goes on and on and on so what's important is the Goldilocks rule not too hard not too easy just right for experienced traders once you learn my setups two three four five hundred a day you'll say that is a walk in the park for me but for the average newer trader or for those that want to get in and out fairly quickly most of my trades as you'll see in my videos I'm usually wrapped up within 30 minutes but that suits me I want to get in get out get paid now on the basis of going for only $100 a day this is out of um, uh, the live trading room one of my members uh, 16 days um, uh, and now uh, if I remember it's, a, it's a, now the member I think it's getting four or five hundred a day I can't remember now whether it's just one or someone else but as he says here it's it's building up and he's loving it so if you start off and and I should just give you some back very quickly here we're going to be looking at the NQ um, the NASDAQ but you can apply the same principle to any market now if you trade uh, the four tick Renko you need to have an account of between three and four thousand dollars and it depends on your stop so, uh, stop loss size that's why that will vary I know your broker will tell you oh, I only need a day trading margin of five hundred dollars but that's not relevant because we've got to think in the terms of risk per trade we never ever ever risk more than two percent so what that means is I can have a stop loss of up to eighty dollars per contract as you build your account you then want to lower your risk down to one percent but if you say start off with four thousand and I'll show you how to start with four hundred dollars too and you go for only a hundred dollars a day by week 30 you're earning your ten thousand a week your account is now um, ninety five thousand dollars that is the true potential of only one hundred dollars a day now I want you to keep that in mind when we get to the live charts very soon now in this session uh, 15 minutes of day trading on the NQ normally my targets a thousand a day but as you'll see it was a pretty good run uh, five trades four wins okay net of commissions from um, 1505 now I'm going to explain these uh, setups on the chart when we get there now what is uh, and what I'm going to do actually is show you this potential setups before then and just after so you can see it's just not a selected um, area now uh, one thing you will see on most of my videos I trade around between 1 a.m. and 3 a.m. Central Standard Time and the reason I trade that time of day is that's 5 p.m. down under in Australia so that sort of suits me and between 3 a.m. and 4 a.m. now later for Eastern Standard Time of course that's when I have my live trading room opens so that's why I get this uh, trading in and as you'll see here we get some really nice waves in the market so that's really important now one thing I wanted to show you here is this now I'm not going to give you all of my secrets I'll give you a lot of things okay a couple of things here I you know become a member I'll show you it okay but here um, you'll see I'm trading the four tick Renko now I trade with a entry chart and anchor chart one anchor chart two anchor chart two particularly is what is important is some trend directional indicators on there because we want to be trading in the direction of the higher time frame so I've removed the time frames here on the anchor chart one and two that go with this the reason being after years and I've been trading now for 28 years I discovered a set really it's it's really a multiple of the entry chart which then um, uh, and it's got nothing to do with Fibonacci numbers by the way where you set up an anchor chart one an anchor chart two and we bounce off these we have multiple EMA bounces on different time frames and what it actually does it dramatically improves uh, your win-loss ratio now there are three day trading sessions 
uh, we've got basically um, the futures markets are open 23 hours a day Forex is 24 hours a day five days a week so we got the Asian session that is when the market reopens the globe session at 6 p.m. Eastern uh, that's the Asian that then rolls into London then we roll into the New York session the Asian and London that is after 6 p.m. Eastern fantastic time to be day trading believe it or not the futures markets you can't trade stocks then but you can trade futures contracts where you can get going for really two three hundred dollars let me say three to four hundred dollars yes you can do it with only 200 but let's allow a bit of a buffer there okay so you can start off on the micros and build from there now which is the best time frame to trade whichever is tradable that is I love the four tick but it's not tradable during the New York New York hours I've got to increase my time frame so that's very very important now that then will also affect your account size the higher the time frame the larger the account size okay so you need to work on that so what if you don't have say if we're trading during the New York session and if we're staying within our risk parameters say if we needed eight thousand dollars well you don't you don't even start with eight thousand you start on the micro where you only need ten percent of that but all of that is explained in my program and in my coaching sessions so very quickly you hear me talk every session about having goals and this is one of the first things I do a lot of one-on-one -on -one coaching and no this is not about one-on-one -on -one or, or a sell for one-on-one -on -one. first thing I, I do with my clients and and in by the way uh, my group coaching sessions we talk about setting realistic targets you hit that target then you increase it okay it makes a massive difference to a trader so here we can see if you start off with a small account uh, 400 go for twenty dollars a day then within 12 weeks you built your account and you can roll over then and start trading the big contract you hear me say this every video even if you got four thousand start on the micro make all the blunders you're going to make on a micro contract um, uh, then go to the big contract okay it's um, because it's very very hard to get over then um, our traders at freeze that are suffering from fear you know they they stuff up five trades in a row they freeze etc so start on the micro it you know and even then we start on the simulator okay so based on netting only $20 a day every time you get another 400 in your account you start trading another contract then you get another then you get another so this is a very realistic plan right so 63 on that day so teaching members how to trade uh, and this is on the NQ so this is a live account as you can see there 63 in an hour or so 75 in an hour if that was probably a lot less than that 88 and that's on one contract so it's extremely realistic going for twenty dollars a day now we then roll over to the big contract and we go for only 200 well let me take away only okay you go for 200 a day and the reason I'm going to take that back you know I get sick of everyone saying oh this is easy well if it's that easy why isn't everyone doing it when in fact it's not difficult in some ways it is easy when you see the patterns but if it's easy why doesn't everyone do it because the easy things are also easy not to do there are fundamentals that we need to follow which I'm going to show you in a couple of minutes when we get to the charts so here go for two hundred dollars a day I've got the potential within 12 weeks there I'm up to uh, my ten thousand a week my accounts only fifty thousand dollars happy days look your goal might only be a thousand dollars a week whatever it is the young guns always want to go for the big bucks okay but it really depends uh, where you know what goals you have now what I do want to quickly show you this is that this table here so it's great to say let's target 200 a day per car per contract um, uh, by the way why do they call them cars uh, you'll hear that term in the futures well years ago many moons ago when you ordered say hogs or or other commodities uh, that are futures contracts that come in railway cars and so they sort of um, I'm buying a car load so that's where you'll hear the term come up regularly a car it's really per contract 
so let's just say here we, we want to go for $200 a day okay down here if we go for uh, four contracts a day um, that's 260 we've done well and truly over that sorry four net trades a day let me get that right by seven steps and you'll see what I mean by the seven steps each step on the four tick is worth ten dollars without confusing you when it comes to trading the NQ each tick or price increment is five dollars and there are four price increments to a point which is twenty dollars so it's twenty dollars a point so once again we want to be thinking okay I want a net 200 I need to realistically target four net trades after any losses and this is where I end up 12 weeks on happy days how do I do that you only need four six step trades a day less if you go for the larger moves well what we call two B's 34 B's 55 89's or 200 B's now let's step it up a little let's go for 250 a day which is still extremely realistic so 250 a day yeah how do we get there well that's only four seven step scalps which I'll show you or five six step step scalps and that's pretty much what I did today as you're about to see between six and seven scalps it was over and done within I think it was 15 minutes and you can see now instead of 12 weeks we're there in nine weeks we saved ourselves uh, or would have saved ourselves three weeks now as a reminder you don't start trading an additional contract where we're going up to three and five and six until you have another four thousand dollars in your account for the good day traders out there you can do this with only three thousand dollars um, per contract that is you can run with a 12 tick stop but that's for the experienced traders and let's just look at one more here where if we look at then $300 a day per contract I need to go for seven step trades I'm allowing five dollars in commissions here by the way uh, or between or, or six six step scalps a day so 300 uh, on this time frame is very realistic now if you're trading say the six tick which is great for when you trade the London session so not long after I trade the four tick usually you'll see me during London jump up to uh, the six tick um, of course we're going for a larger profit target there but we won't go into that today now so let's get back I'll close both of those so let's get back to this now let's just say and there'll be 30 more seconds on this you start on the micro once again you can get going for as little as 300 let's just say 400 based on only $20 a day 12 weeks we can then roll over and start trading the big contract now the micros are 10% of the value that's why I'm going for $20 a day then 200 a day now within 24 weeks we've got this potential or within 12 weeks and going to the big contract um, of earning your 10,000 week this is a reality if you get the right training uh, if you apply the right discipline and the right patience now if you step it up and this is the last thing we pretty much already covered this on the sheet here but if we step it up uh, to $300 a day on there within eight weeks okay and that's really what you'll see me do in today's session I'm going to show you how I hit 300 um, per contract and as you're about to see I could have easily doubled that in not uh, in, in not much greater time in trading if that come out right I'm not sure if those words were proper English but anyway without investing a great deal more time so how are we going to do it let me show you now before we do get underway with that there are some serious considerations that we need to consider each and every day and this is where we we start the training starts to kick in we need to consider every day and if you're a brand new trader this is not complicated it's just about you know someone reading a couple of pages to you and showing you and then you go aha oh that's pretty straightforward all right so this may be a foreign language but we need to know where our daily pivot levels are right now uh, we also need to know our open high low close levels from yesterday and major EMAs 89 and 200 are absolutely critical 
your intraday swing highs and lows and the current days high and low all of these are what we call predictive swing points or targets or support resistance levels they're predictive that is so many of us traders trade them so many professionals trade these levels that they become a self-fulfilling prophecy and so many traders ignore these and it just makes trading so much easier so let's get to the charts and I will show you exactly what I mean by this now first of all we're going to start off this is a ops you can't really see it up there but this is a four tick Renko and this is the uh, NQ and what that means traders is that each one of these candles technically they're bricks Renko stands Japanese for bricks is four ticks from the high of a low okay or one point or twenty dollars and each step down is worth ten dollars so where you hear me talk about oh, I'm after seven steps let's just say here if I took this uh, slingshot one two three four five six seven all right that's a seventy dollar move all right that one there's about a one hundred dollar move so um, that's what I mean by steps and every time frame that you trade has a different value so if we're up to a six tick Renko each step is worth $15 easy when you see it on the chart okay you get instru um, you've got the instruction charts that teach you this and in my live lessons now let's talk about how do we and we want to mainly fo be focused mainly on this focused on trading with the trend what's the easiest way of doing this well here see the white paint bar that's called my super scalper okay I got the general idea years ago from um, John Carter back in the 90s There's, so here and the arrows you can see there that's called the t20 that's just identifying potential turning points what you want to do here traders is follow the flow of the river now here I've got what we call a cloud that's just the coloring here but what we're really doing here is following a number of core EMAs particularly the 21 and the 34 so we're following the general flow and we're trading the super scalpers in the general direction of the cloud now occasionally we're going to have a deep pullback like this and we call this a 3b these can also be fantastic trades when you've got a distance from your entry up to your EMAs now that there technically is a counter trend move we've got a lower low here but let's talk about trading with the trend so here I've got a lower low now I've got a lower high and we could basically if we wished um, drop a channel in here very easy so the footprints to a trend or should I say how do we identify a trend do you have in this case a lower low followed by a lower high oh yes I do up here we had a slightly lower low lower high mm -hmm, that's interesting now I've got a lower low again and a lower high okay let's get into this so we could actually take this trade right here and for members watching this as you know this is a t20-1 uh, just there so there's your t20 t20-1 we've got the super scalper away we go now this trade here was only good for if we look at a conservative entry uh, one two three four five six six steps which is sixty dollars then we get a bit of a bounce here always expect that's a 200 EMA remember on that uh, before we signed in here I said you've got to know where your 89 and 200 EMAs are absolutely critical okay now I've got the super scalper again okay so now what have I got just here I haven't got a lower low but I've got a new lower high I've got a um, short-term stochastic cook I'm going to go short here and I'm after my seven steps one two three four or actually let me conserve that's four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen now okay so you might have got out out there easily 10 steps now um, I'm a scalper traders I like to work on fixed targets of five and seven steps I like to get in get out get paid so I don't generally trail 
but um, uh, there's a lot of techniques we can use for uh, trailing such as here a close above the second candle above the T line just here um, we can use that for trailing so there's a lot which we won't get into today a lot of ways we can pick up um, for large runners so what do we have just up here we had a, a nice little trade there you had some uh, over here look it's a little bit too easy I'm pointing these out what's important here is you learn to read your charts from the right hand side and that's what I'm doing here as you can see now see how now I've got what we call we call that angulation by the way that's called angulation where you start to angle away when we get that we're expecting a retracement here and I've got no divergence somewhere up here we might get a bounce here 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 or here now notice here we've got a new lower low so guess what I'm expecting here traders a new lower high so as we're coming up usually well, there we go. I was about to say usually we get it and we've got an entry right now again so when we get um, a, a pullback like this remember on the PowerPoint slide and I must bring this up and show you remember here I said you need to know where your intraday swing highs and lows are and the 89 and 200 you can probably see we're bouncing off those so if we now go back to the charts remember here intraday swing highs and lows where that becomes relevant is see this here there is a swing and look how we came down and tested that low whenever you've got a substantial it's a nice little move here you've got a potential coming back down and of course not reaching that but also coming back down and testing this swing low again so let's see how we go now where I'll sometimes go for a larger target is if um, uh, my seven steps is here I might squeeze another two steps out which means it's seven it's um, instead of $70 a contract I'm going for 90 maybe $100 a contract but I usually front run these levels front running see that that's called a Renko tail I want to get out before the amateurs get out down here so I would exit this trade somewhere up here if I was going for a larger target if you want to make it a lot easier just go for your seven steps one two three four five six seven eight nine now there it reversed on ten all right now that's that's uh, there so you could have easily got your eight nine steps with that move another nice little winner thank you very much now notice here we've missed that by it looks like uh, let me see here is that we missed that that low by one tick and this is called front running so what's next well what we're going to do here traders is look for another trade okay up here look at our EMAs remember follow the flow of a river it is we can see here we're in a downtrend you don't want to swim against the current we want to swim with it ah until we come across rapids all right and the rapids are going to be major divergence etc so as we pull back ah, now right here that there now we now have an entry um, ah, that's called a 34b by the way uh, let's just say we're let's be conservative and say we get in right now one two three four five aha uh -huh. this is going to get interesting five six seven eight straight almost straight through it so easily we've got our seven this ladies and gentlemen is the 200 EMA on a higher time frame this is where we'll bounce off these all the time now these become major support resistance levels and when you understand the relationship between the EMAs on different time frames they become what we call price targets so if we had have known that's there so there's a formula that we used to put this on here now usually what we would do by the way is oops so I don't have it set up there usually we'd have the anchor chart one on display so you can get an idea of that and if actual fact what I do I have my lower screen like this set up where I've got my entry chart and I've got six screens you, you can get away with two screens really and, the, and I have one or two-thirds of my screen above dedicated to the anchor chart one 
and I've got one third it um, dedicated to the anchor chart too so this here traders is a trade and we actually call this a t12 and they kick but they do really well now our entry would be around now anyway where would my target be with a t12 somewhere up in this region okay so and hopefully we we'll catch up to where my trades actually were uh, now just there just uh, one two three four five six uh, I would be out personally at seven all right now that's another 70 now by the way um, you can see there we've already hit our 200 romped our 200 250 a day in just here we'll get to the live trades very soon I'll go as fast as I can now the super scalper on the NQ uh, is fantastic because with the NQ it's a lot what we call whippier uh, here we go so we're actually here now so we're at at my trades that I actually fired off now right here for members watching you can see there I've got a t10 to begin with I've also got a 3b so I've got a 3b and it's a t10 and what's in front of me the anchor chart one 200 EMA why is that important because as we come down to that level we would expect a bounce now as you can see here we went through it but expect a bounce so we're in one two three four five six seven uh, and there we are and now I get a bounce uh, right there off the anchor chart one 200 my first winning trade thank you very much okay we get a bounce we rally up from there and by the way uh, that was very much another t12 that I could have been in okay but I wasn't in that but now I take the t10 I had a t10 there now I've got another t10 so uh, up we go I'm in this t10 thank you very much and I'm out of that t10 now all of these are patterns traders everything I trade is based upon not VWAP and not um, you know market uh, profile and things like it well I know they can say and by the way respectfully um, to those strategies there's a lot of traders that make money from those but for me this is just really easy super scalper EMA bounces off major areas is still a lot of other things we need to consider but you just see these multiple EMA bounces it just makes it so much easier so I'm out of that trade okay what's next well we can see here now we're starting to fan above let's look for potential another uh, with trend trade so pulling back pulling back pulling back and right there I've got um, it actually is for members watching that was a 2b it's a 34b and a, and a 2b uh, and I'm in that trade and now one thing we haven't done and this is what you've got to develop the habit of doing is scrolling down like this and looking what's in front of us one of the key things is do we have blue skies ahead what I mean by that are there any major support resistance levels below us or above us now down here I've got yesterday's high I've got yesterday's close I've got today's open and there is that's called a pivot now here we're going long there's nothing in front of me so that's mighty fine but it's important you look at those see like the 200 we basically bounced off that so these become predictive and you can use them as magnets sell into them so as we go up here I then hit my target goes up a little further and then we roll over now with this one uh, I didn't take the divergence trade but here I had really nice divergence so and we had divergence right there members watching this so that's a bit the farm just there not a perfect formation but pretty much um, so there's our divergence you've got to bet the farm right there now here we've got standard divergence but in this particular case I didn't take that I took the t10 so so members watching there's your t10 okay and if we take a t10 most of you are aware I'll, tr I'll look at trading it and quite often we'll get a bounce down here at the 89 and if I remember correctly that was probably my break even trade see on my um, uh, ATM why I have it set up 
is that automatically we go to break even we take profits and whatever so sometimes unfortunately we get to break even it comes up stops us out and then it continues because in fact I then had another trade set up just here and so I took this trade thank you very much for members watching it's a t20-1 there's your t20 there's your t20-1 there's your hook thank you very much and I'm out of that trade now now that was um, all over in how many minutes less than 15 minutes four trades um, sorry five trades four wins one break even ah look at this here oh another bounce again note here we're very close to our EMAs remember I said to you before that um, a few minutes ago that what's in front of the trade whenever you have an, a bounce and it's a counter trend trade and you're very close remember the flow of the river here I'm flow I'm trading against the flow I don't want to take this trade I want to see if we get what we call a short trade and there it is right there so one two three four five six seven eight or well, not quite eight so we got seven now this is now very interesting I've got divergence again so for new traders divergence is where you have either a double bottom or a double top on price and you have your MACD now this is a special this is called a platinum MACD so all of these indicators I have for um uh, for Ninja Trader for trade station uh, I've got some form of these for MT4 and other trading platforms but I give you the settings that no matter which platform you're using you can replicate everything on here with basically just about every trading platform you can model this even if you don't have um, one of the platforms I've coded it specially for for an example the super scalper is a pattern so I disclose that to you anyway now but with divergence lower low on price higher low on my MACD now this is a very sensitive it's called a zero lag MACD so this is a trade for me now what would be it? now I don't get the entry until now okay so I've got an entry now it's a counter trend trade what's in front of us traders what's in front of us downtrending EMAs guess where I'm going to expect a bounce we don't always get it but remember there's no certainties there's only probabilities very good probability I'm going to get a bounce up in this level and there it is right there now do I have a trade entry there no I do not and the reason I don't have a trade entry at that level my EMAs have started to level out and it's the first pullback to a fairly flat 200 I won't get into all of that right now so what I'm looking for if ever you get a deep retracement on any time frame any market and your EMAs or moving averages are flat what you want to do traders is wait for additional information um, uh, to confirm the trade so what are we going to do here nothing at this stage I don't have a trade entry okay now I do remember before I mentioned over here I had a bet the farm now I've got another bet the farm and guess what I'm going to take this trade and another nice move now we'll just do one more so here um, uh, I'm already out and finished all over that suits me so for those who want to go for the big bucks might want to continue to trade but there's a number of secrets we've got to make sure that we've got the waves we do not trade around flat EMAs moving averages they are evil okay let's just look at see what happens once more now no surprise lower low what's going to happen here so as we pull up <coughs> excuse me there is our entry and then we'll just this will be the last one we'll sign off on and down we go okay now here once again if you took this trade going for a larger target like this one here where's our last swing low here took this one where's our last swing low 
Now we need to consider aha uh -huh. now let's just go a little further and let's just see what happens here okay now look at that just there what did we bounce off right there traders we bounced off yesterday's high remember in the PowerPoint we want to know where are the prior days open high low and close levels why because of what you just saw there we bounce off them every day and what you can actually do traders is when you've got a trade entry here or here we actually call it a t28 or a pivot magnet trade so when you've got your entry chart and your anchor chart one trending into these levels you can use those as targets and once again we bounced up there was just another perfect entry or that one and back down to that and look at that there oh my goodness what did we just bounce off again we bounced off the pivot what did we just bounce off there we bounced off for 200 what did we find support at just here for short time we tested a number of times yesterday's high and we hit the pivot again ah what have we now got I've got a double bottom off the pivot now floor pivots are based upon yesterday's price action once again these are what we call predictive indicators because they plot they're plotted in advance they're not lagging they're predictive we can predict where price is going to go with these and some of your best reversals will be off your pivots traders so it's just so important that you learn how to trade uh, these levels they're not rocket science at all they're really quite straightforward and quite simple um, once you understand the basic philosophy on these okay uh, look at this here we had to rally up beautiful divergence there by the way oh look at that again we had a cluster of yesterday's open sorry the current day's open and yesterday's close oh look what we formed a double bottom off major support so traders for, for many people or many new traders this may seem a wee bit foreign right now but all of these are patterns because you know that when you're trading any of these levels and this is just a normal day for us just a, a normal day is is you if you go back and look at every one of my videos in every video I say I'm targeting well actually I'm not targeting these deliberately but we end up at these levels right we see it um, every single day so traders why don't you come and if you're become a member if you're interested in mastering the art of day trading if you want to get hold of all of my indicators the super scalper which just makes trading so much easier when you learn how to use the scalper the white paint bars here it just helps identify your trade entries how you use the cloud if you don't have if your platform doesn't allow you to put the cloud in how we use the EMAs this is not rocket science what it takes is some screen time and some coaching so come and join me you also get uh, one month in my life coaching room all for $197 you can go to the link below also don't forget to make sure you've subscribed to my channel now we're at 44 minutes as expected so traders I know we went a little over time but this is important you see this this is really how you day trade so traders have a great day and as always I love day trading thanks traders